So define PCI was a was a study to assess the significance of of FFR or actually IFR of of functional flow down the coronary artery not before PCI, which has been shown to be a good guide for who will benefit from PCI, but after PCI. So what's the residual amount of decreased flow based on IFR, and, and, uh, and is that an opportunity for improving care to understand that and better manage that? So this was 500 patients um, that were enrolled in, in um, centers in uh, international population of, of um, centers who had stable or unstable angina and they all underwent IFR um, before and after stenting. And the, the main striking finding was that 24 percent of these patients had residual ischemia threshold, in other words an IFR less than 0.9 in their um, in, in their uh, target vessel, which, which is quite remarkable. And, and it didn't correlate well with the degree of residual stenosis. So what this tells us is that there is a, um, a surprising and substantial amount of residual ischemia based on this particular measure, IFR, in these vessels. It was also important that it was usually a focal phenomenon. In other words, it wasn't due to diffuse slowing of flow capacity in the vessels, but it was, it was at discrete points in the vessel, therefore suggesting that there might be the opportunity to do better quality PCI and stenting to assure that the IFR was normalized or was taken into that range that's been associated with, uh, with better outcome and being, with a, being a target for further intervention. So I think it's a very important concept that not only before but after the stent, we might be able to assess the success by IFR, that it provides a potential opportunity to improve the success of the procedure and outcomes. But we really will need a subsequent outcome study which is being planned to determine what we should do with this clinically.